What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to talk about this amazing segment to end Monday Night Raw between Cody Rose and Roman Reigns. This segment just got me even more hyped for WrestleMania. And it all dealt with words. No physical contact was needed. Um, they started off the show with uh, Sammy and Kevin Owens pretty much saying, hey, man, we're here to take down the bloodline. The Usos come out there or whatnot. And they're, you know, they pretty much, uh, Sammy and uh, Kevin Owens offer up a uh, a match, you know, a match opportunity to face them for the, uh, the tag titles. And they ultimately agreed as a brawl or whatnot. That's when Roman pulls up. So the Usos go in the back, they chopping it up with Roman, and you think just for a little bit that Jimmy is gonna have feel some type of way towards Roman, like the way he's expressing his, you know, how he's feeling, but he directs it towards Sammy, and I like that tease there, and they're starting to build this tease of what's the bloodline really cracking from within because of how people feel about Roman. And the reason why I'm talking about this, because this comes up later on, it has relevance in the main event uh, promo segment. So he asked everybody to leave except Jay. He has a little private meeting with Jay asking, hey, what happened, what's going on? Are you, you know, you making out ma matches? Are, you know, are you part of the bloodline? Are you in, are you out? And he says, I'm in bro, I'm locked in, I'm, I'm, I'm part of the family. So he leaves and that's when uh, Paul Heyman comes back in. Did you get the answer that you wanted? And, you know, he kind of, it's kind of alluding that he's not all the way there with Jay as well. But he he got the answer that he, quote unquote, deemed that he wanted, supposedly. So before that segment, he tells Jimmy and Jay to go on a private jet. You know what I'm saying? You know, enjoy the food. Solo's going to stay with me. Or whatever when he goes out there to uh you know i guess to talk to the, talk to the people so automatically there's something interesting about that you're trying to figure out what's going on as roman rocks down to the ramp um solo has his wrestling gear on so it was like before he didn't now he does so i was like why does solo have his wrestling gear what's about to happen here roman doing his normal acknowledge me and that's when cody comes out and cody's he he's straight to the point you know what I'm saying? Paul said you has an issue with me. What's the issue then? What, what's what's the problem? And then from this point on, Roman turns into Chef Roman and starts cooking. He's cooking with the finest herbs and ingredients. Boy, boy, oh boy, did he get disrespectful. He he brought up the moment he's like, bro, like he he really kind of breaking them down. Like you you couldn't you couldn't hack it as Stardust, so you left. Then you couldn't get over in the other company, so you left. And I'm like, oh my god, bro. He he's starting to get into his bag or whatnot. And he's like, bro, what? At the, it seems like you you know you you tend to run away from situations. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, you know when it's all said and done, instead of looking forward to April first, you should be looking forward to April third when you have to look yourself in the mirror and realize that you know what I'm saying. You're not the guy. You can't. You couldn't get the job done. You know what I'm saying? And you may end up leaving like a little bitch again. And I'm just like, oh, he's cooking him. He's getting very personal. He's bringing up things that we know. I'm like, okay, we're getting there now. And I like what Cody's response was. It was very good. I like the fact that he 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 brought up. He's like, you know what? That may all be true, but I definitely was helping people get paid and get the max po possible money. You know what I'm saying? He started bringing in some real situations. And then he also mentioned, I mean, yeah, you can say that all about me or whatnot. But at the end of the day, you know, you're going to have to really, you know, realize what's in front of you. And also the fact that, you know, if I hear one more thing about my father in this situation, we're going to have an issue. Because my father's not coming to face you at WrestleMania. My brother's not going to be there. It's me. I'm coming to face you at WrestleMania. You ain't got jack to do with my family. Now, it's me that you're going to have to worry about. And if anyone has to worry about what's going to happen at on April 3rd, it's you, Roman. Because once you lose to me, it's going to hit you. You're going to have to deal with loss that you haven't dealt with in quite some time. 
And then Jay is going to be the first person to leave you. Then Jimmy is going to follow right behind him. Then Solo, and I like what he did with Solo. And Solo, you've been looking at me like you want, like you ready for this spot. I'm here to tell you, you're not ready for this, my boy. Then Paul, your advocate won't be an advocate for you anymore. You'll be the Roman without the reins. You'll be the tribal to no chief. You know, no, you'll be the tribal chief with no tribe. And I like that because he started breaking him down. Like when you lose, everyone else will leave you. That's going to be your reality. And I love that because they're planting the seeds as if things are about to start falling apart. Even though Sammy and Kevin Owens are on the same page, we're starting to see things starting to crumble. Or what not. We're starting to see things crumble within the bloodline, even though they're trying to admit that it's not. And what happened afterwards was great because Roman had nothing to say. Cody... Cody shifted up himself. There was two chefs in the kitchen putting in the best ingredients and herbs. So Cody held his own as I expected. He leaves. Solo Sokola looking at him. Like he ready to kind of like, kind of, you know, go at it. He was expecting Solo to be behind him, but he wasn't. So Roman's like, what the hell's going on? Or whatnot. And then as Solo's leaving, he's like, yeah, that's what I told you. You weren't ready for this, my boy. Like, just egging him on. And that's when Solo got mad, tried to attack him, got hit with a super kick. And then that's when he was about to attack him again. And Roman's like, what the hell are you doing? What are you doing? Get your ass out the ring. And I love that. That was smart. Because now Cody's playing mind game because he knows Solo has been playing backseat to all of this. And he wants his opportunity as well. And you can really bring, you can play that story up too. There's so many routes they can do with this, even after WrestleMania. Honestly, I'm okay with Roman dropping the titles because guess what? You can still really do some things with this bloodline saga because there'll still be a family. It's just Roman would have lost. Now, how's the dynamic going to be that Roman's not the tribal chief? Well, he doesn't have the titles no more. How, how will people react to him? How will people respond? I like that. I thought that was that was great. I thought that was fantastic. Just that that interaction with uh, Solo and, and um, Cody Rose and Roman's like, yo, what are you doing? Why are you not listening to me? I like that. I'm very intrigued. They are they're ramping it up for WrestleMania. And once again, no physical contact was needed. That I can appreciate. They may save it for the 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 go home show but there was no physical contact needed because at the end of the day the words are getting the job done that was the best segment of the night fantastic shout out to everyone that was a part of the monday night raw live stream we really do appreciate you guys we had a good time and that was great man so comment down below let me know did you guys enjoy this promo segment did you guys enjoy their back and forth and are you looking forward to uh, what's going to happen next week on Monday Night Raw and leading into WrestleMania? And do you guys think that this Bloodline story will continue after WrestleMania if Roman Reigns lose? Or maybe if he does win, do you think people will start, you know, leaving Roman uh, after that? You know, let us know down below, man. I, uh, well, let me know down below, man. I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys think is about to happen. But I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K, and I am still here on the speed of YouTube wrestling champ of the world and your inner clutch world heavyweight champion. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one.